Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. So what do I have here? I have a metal spoon. I have a plastic toothbrush. I have a wooden pencil. I have a metal and plastic scissors. I have a rubber rubber band and I have an aluminum container. All of these are examples of matter made of different materials. And the big idea today is that there are scientists who study these different materials to see if they can make them better, to see if they can make them safer, to see if they can make them stronger or even more affordable. Those scientists are called material scientists. And today we're gonna to take a closer look at a specific new material that a material scientist invented. So here I have a few rolls of duct tape and duct tape is an interesting material. It's stronger than most tapes and people use it for all kinds of things. They use it for fixing broken pencils. They use it for band-aids when they get a cut. I've even seen people use duct tape to hold parts of their car together because it's so strong. The other neat thing about duct tape is that it can be used to hold things together that are different shapes. Well, a material scientist has invented a new material that can be made into any shape we want. And it's called the form card. So what's so neat about this form card? It looks like it's a plastic card about the size of a credit card and it comes in different colors. Well, actually it's made from a bioplastic that I can mold and shape. It doesn't look like I can mold and shape it. So how does it work? The neat thing about the form card is that it uses heat energy to take it from a solid and turn it into something that I can shape and mold. What kind of heat energy do I use to change my form card? A simple cup of hot water. So watch what happens when I add heat energy from this cup of water. Drop it in, wait a few seconds. It doesn't look too exciting. It doesn't look like much is happening, but that heat energy is doing a lot to that plastic form card. So I'm gonna use a spoon to pull this out. It is a little hot. And now all of a sudden, it becomes stretchable and moldable. Right now, it's actually sticky. When it cools down a little bit, I can use it to shape and form and mold, I don't know, to fix a broken pencil. Put the pencil together, take my form card, wrap it around it. And as that form card cools down, it'll become solid again and it'll allow me to fix a pencil at all kinds of different angles maybe, and I can create something new. So keep in mind, as the heat energy from the cup of water leaves the form card, it cools down and becomes a solid again. Right now, it's pliable, bendable, and moldable. Once it cools down, it becomes a solid again. So let's take a look at some of the different things we've made from the form card. Now these three things here, might just look like blobs of plastic, but they each have a very specific purpose. So who hasn't gone into a store and seen pencil grips or pen grips? Little pieces of flexible rubber used to get a better grip on your pen, especially if you're a kid and you have small fingers and have trouble gripping your pen. But what if we could use the form card to make our own pencil grip, but have it fit perfectly in our hand? Well, that's what I did. I dropped a solid form card in a glass of hot water and then when it was moldable, I molded it around a pen. And as it hardened, I squeezed it between my fingers until it became solid. And now I have a personalized pen grip that fits my hand and my hand alone. Cool science. Well, what about these two things? All right. I took a toothbrush and thought I can make a toothbrush holder. Holds my toothbrush, now what about floss? Flossing's important. So I took this, and this is perfect for fitting my floss in there. And then I have a little toothpaste holder. It all fits neatly and nicely so I can set it on my sink and have everything right there at my reach. Another neat thing about form cards is well, what happens if I try to make something and it doesn't turn out quite right? Well, all I have to do is take that thing, it's solid, apply some heat energy, and start all over again. So now we can pull this out with our spoon. And my once solid form card, the heat energy has made it so I can shape it and form it. That's why it's called the form card. And I can start all over and try to make something else or try to fix something else. What a really cool new material invented by a material scientist. So a little bit of heat energy 
change this matter, this material. Material scientists have to know a lot about matter and energy. And really, material scientists are at work all around us. We just don't think about it. So think about your car. A long time ago, cars were really heavy and they weren't that safe. But material scientists have been hard at work trying to make that material in the car better. They made it safer. They made it stronger. They made it lighter. And it's not just cars. Airplanes, bicycles, televisions, computers, almost everything in our lives was made better by a material scientist. Telephones, the list goes on and on. This form card allows you to become a material scientist at home. Think about all the things that you can make with this new material. If you want to learn more about material science and matter and energy, check out our links in the video description. Science is so cool especially when I can shape and form and mold it. Thanks for watching.